guys. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing great. Dude, last night was a lot of, uh, a lot to take in. So, uh, no spoilers in the chat. Um, uh, well, you never know. It might be, but anyways, today we've got the Fallen Order 2 trailer. I haven't watched it yet, the teaser trailer, rather. And I'm very excited to watch it. So it was released 48 minutes ago. Uh, there's only 4.1k views on it, sadly. I guess people don't know about it yet, but uh, I got some texts from people at Celebration. And they were like, yo, we just got the trailer. And I'm like, what? Wait, what is it dope? Like, when's it out? All right, so let's go ahead and watch it and uh, see what it's all about. Oh, wait, wait. I guess it would be good if I could hear it. What's up, chat? I see you all in here. What's going on? How you doing? Okay, let's go. You guys remember the many hours of live streams we did for this game? Cal Kestis. Why lead when they won't follow? Why fight? What is your next move, Jedi? What? Dude, 2023, come on. Tell me, Cal Kestis. Who the hell is this guy? He's, he's not the Inquisitor, but he's an Uta Powan. <sighs> Sorry, he's a Powan, I guess I should say. Um... Someone being cloned? There's no way that's the Grand Inquisitor. No way. Have people saying Gallon Merrick? She's bad? Pretty sure that was a dude. <laughs> In the back to tank. <laughs> um... Oh, this takes place five years after the first game? It's the Grand Inquisitor you guys are saying? But why is he looking all, like, rough? And why are his eyes just completely dark? Maybe they change. When they won't follow... I mean, yeah, okay. Why fight? When you can't win. Damn. Graphics look really good, though. What is your next... I mean, yeah. Dude, that looks so real. What the hell? If only he looked like this in Kenobi. Well, I guess he does. His Sith eyes, kind of. He's just pupils are huge, just like the Pounds. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know, bro. I don't. I don't think that's. I don't know if that's the Grand Inquisitor. Where is head markings? Move, Jedi. this is that supposed to be a clone of him i 
Have they been in there for a long time because long hair? Tion Miron. Cal's clone. He's too old. Darth Desilus. That ain't the Grand Inquisitor. My best guess is that he'll have nothing to do with the Empire and it's going to be a different threat. Yeah, I don't really think it can be someone that we know. I mean... If this is five years after Fallen Order, then that would be literally the time of Kenobi. So what? Are you telling me that... Okay, spoilers for Kenobi. Spoilers for Kenobi. Um... Grand Inquisitor is actually toast. And then he comes back later. He like goes into hiding like Maul did. It's a senator, not the Grand Inquisitor. It's been confirmed already. Okay, so it's not the Grand Inquisitor. So, okay, you guys at Celebration, I guess, know. Yeah, this is canon. 100%. Maybe it's Morbius. Okay, so it's not the Grand Inquisitor. I see his chat saying it's confirmed. You guys sure? What? They won't. Nah, dude, that's that's not the Grand Inquisitor, man. Look at his um there's no tattoos on his head. There's no markings. Uh, we got an Empire logo here. What well, looks like it could be. No, maybe not. I think that's BD. I think it's BD1. Or maybe like a BD1 unit. It's literally Morbius. <laughs> it's not Sabioth. The graphics are stunning. Yeah, for sure. He's way too fat. He's, he's definitely too old. This is not the Grand Inquisitor. There's no way. Guys in the tank could be Joris Sabioth, white hair and all. Mm, he's too young. Doesn't Wouldn't make sense. Joris Sabioth was like an old Jedi. So, I mean, unless they cloned him, but why? I think the person in the tank might be Starkiller. Sifo Dias in the tank. No, none of that makes sense. I don't think it's someone that we know. That's a stormtrooper, obviously. That's a BD unit. Why? His hands are kind of weird. It must be like engineer. Fight! Or this dude is. He's obviously badass. But who's. Is he shooting blasters at him? No, no, no. It's the turrets. Let me see. I gotta see his lightsaber. And maybe I'll be able to know. Like his hilt. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know who that is. No idea. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Sabiath was cloned. Yeah, but not the original one, obviously. But that's the thing with Disney. Like, they can't... Like, we've already established that it's very hard to clone a Force-sensitive. And we've also established that in Legends. So, it's, I doubt that they would go that route because it would open for so many inconsistencies with Episode Nine, Where they would be like, well, why didn't Palpatine's clone use the Force? Right? Imagine if he did. Oh, that's so sick. When you can't win, what is your next? I can't tell if this is live action or CG. This is so good. Move, Jedi.
Dude, what the hell is all this going on here? I feel like that's Cal, bro. I'm feeling like that's Cal. Just with white hair. Like, if you just cover that. I think it's Cal, man. Uh, yeah, well, I don't know, actually. Hmm. What do you think? Dark side Mace Windu? That'd be badass. Could it be Starkiller? No. No. Ram Coda? That'd be cool. The cow we've been playing is... The cow we've been playing as is a clone? What? He's a mix of different people. It's Cinderella. Was anyone at the celebration panel? Terran Malikos? <laughs> Actually... No. What term Malikos is? No. I don't think so. His mother. Guy in the tank could be George Sabioth, white hair and all. I think the person in the tank might be Starkiller. Could that be the first Palpatine clone in the tank? No. Cyphodius, Cal fighting spirit of Darth Revan. I don't think so. Who has the red saber? Oh my god, it's Darth Morbius. Hey, Star Wars Saber, did you notice you could hear the name Ahsoka in Kenobi Episode 2 around 425? I still couldn't hear it. I went back and I tried. Looks like a female. Maybe the Force. May the Force be with you, bro. Uh, well, I doubt they would do that in a Star Wars game. Um, It's cool, though. It's bizarre. Apparently, that's an Imperial Senator on Coruscant. This is an Imperial Senator? It's not a BD unit they're carrying. It's the box with his lightsaber. Uh, that looks like a BD unit. Oh, yeah, they are walking with it. You're right. You're so right. Why fight? When you can't win. What is okay, so they obviously got his saber. So what, are we just going to be saberless the whole game? Is, is your game? next move, Jedi? Powan is an Imperial Senator, it's confirmed. Could be a clone of Kyle himself. Yeah, I didn't think it's the Grand Inquisitor. That'd be too weird. Missing arm should be a huge hint. What are you gonna say, Anakin? Obviously, no one's been at this place for a long time, so it's someone that they've just, like, abandoned. But why would they abandon this dude? It's kind of cool, dude. Kyle's brother who's being kept alive. You guys making stuff up like me? <laughs> Sabioth. What's good, Nicholas? What's going on, man? A lost Jedi? Is he missing a hand?
Could the clone be Revan? No, I don't think so. <gasps> you missed R2 and Kenobi episode 1 in the background in a scene? Really? Where? Bro, I'm loving these theories. You guys should each make a channel. It's Anakin, 10th brother. Literally just a new character. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, but what I'm intrigued by is that this dude is just chilling there. Moss growing everywhere. Vines all over the place. Clearly he's been forgotten about and abandoned. But this is still running. So, who the heck is this dude? Maybe he's been growing. You know? Like cloned or something. Avar Chris from High Republic. Isn't the guy talking the same dude from Utapau? Oh, you mean, um, uh, what was his name? Ah, uh, from Revenge of the Sith that greets Kenobi. No, I don't think it is. I mean, it, damn, who, what was his name? Utapau. Um, Tion Miron. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, that guy. Tion Miron. I don't think so. Ah, damn. Could be. <laughs> what if it's Melvin? Legit, I think he's the survivor who did this to protect himself from Order 66. It could be Tion. Sabaoth, we already saw Mount Tantus and Bad Batch. Well, that's the thing is that you know, I don't think we're gonna see Cal Kestis in any of the shows really because we still gotta like understand where he's at right now in this in the game, and it would just kind of give it away if you like, you know. So, Kirak and Fila, no, Kirak and Fila died pretty much right after Revenge of the Sith. He was like the first dude that just got tapped by Vader. Isn't this the place where Fennec Shan brought Omega in the Bad Batch? It, it just it looks like it, but I mean, I don't think that this is the same spot. But that's the thing, right? Palpatine had so many of these undisclosed locations of just back to tanks and, and projects and laboratories and experiments. And so it's like you could literally find one anywhere in the galaxy because he just has so many. Clone of Anakin that the Emperor made in case Vader fails or turns? Uh, no, because again, cloning is extremely difficult like, to do with a Force-sensitive. There's no guarantee that he's going to be Force-sensitive if uh, he's cloned. Right, we've seen that with Starkiller. We've seen, you know, so it's going to be Shag-Gi. Shag Could it be Grogu? No. I love this. I love the, I love when these like trailers come out, and especially Fall in Order, because we spent so much time on it, man. That was some of the best streaming I've ever done on this channel. That was just so much fun. Uh, can you type one if you were there during the Fall in Order streams? What was that? Three years ago? I think. That was three years ago, right? Or was that four years ago? One, two, three... I think it was three years ago. It's 2019, right? Or was it 2018? 2019. I think so. Look at all the ones! Yay! Yeah, so you guys remember. We ordered the pizza and everything. It was like that eight, nine hour stream, man. We're going to be doing that again. 2023, though, I hope it's not going to be fall. Bro, it probably will be. You already know. We're going to race through this game. I love you too, man. Three in November. Oh, do you already know? It just said 2023. Third of November, 2023. Who said that? Yeah, so it's going to be four years since the first game, I guess. 
Is it Terran from the first game? I don't believe so. Oh, you just finished the five-hour live stream? Nice. Yeah, last night was fun, man. What's up, Huff? Playing some uh, COD tonight with the boys? City's clone. Starkiller clone. Hmm. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Follow. Well, where's Breeze? Why? Where's your I... When you can't win, what is your next move, Jedi? I don't think this is Tion Miron. Yo, buddy's only got one arm. Buddy's only got one arm. Did you notice that? He's suspended, man. If if he's got two arms, the other arm would be chilling somewhere here. It would just be like floating. There's no way it would just be like down, erect. <laughs> you know. And they're kind of making us focus on the hand. So meaning that he's got one hand. Who the hell has only one hand? Uh, I don't know. What if Padme cheated on Anakin with Yoda? Yeah, that's those are the questions I'm looking for right now. It's, it's, uh, God. Um, Sifo Dias. Oh, no way. Dude, I would go insane if Sifo Dias was still alive, but there's no way he's, he's dead. It's not Quinlan Vos, no. His hand behind his torso. Yeah, but he's floating. Why would he be, why would his hand be behind his torso? Right? You ever float in water, your hand doesn't float behind your torso, it floats in front of you. Typically. We're just in a relaxed state. Imagine it's the twin brother and his memories from the first game. Oh my god. Darth Desolos. Revan. What's with you guys in Revan? You think like everyone's Revan. No way, man. Revan's long gone and we haven't even seen and they wouldn't bring him back like this. Highly doubt it. Just fin finished the Tron Thrawn trilogy. Says Familton. So this is fresh on my mind. Imagine it was Joris Sabioth. I mean, that'd be wild, but... Yeah, I mean, they're just doing it in a different timeline. Well, I mean, they could be setting this up for after Return of the Jedi. I was in Vegas on vacation when F.O. came out, took my PlayStation with. Nice. Looking to Das Jenner, he was a survivor of Order 66 and is considered canon. But I don't I don't know if it's a Jedi, though, right? Terran from the first game. Jeff Grubb confirmed the title earlier today on Twitter, confirmed the trailer would drop. He also said it is quarter one 2023. EA said a big title is quarter one. Oh, I would certainly hope so. That would mean we would get Mandalore in season three in February, and then we would get this game. 
as well. Either around that time, January, February, March. What's up, King? Could it be an old and aged Quinlan Voss? I don't think so. I think it's a, just a new character, but I'm trying to figure out what his significance is. Like, why? And I, I feel like he's got one arm, but I also feel like maybe this arm was taken off and it's just like regrown now, or it's a robot arm. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, that's not normal. <laughs> Obviously. The Sith dude is missing an arm also. Same guy. What Sith dude? Oh, that guy? Someone said this is the same year as Kenobi. Yeah, if this is five years after Fallen Order, then yeah. Maybe it's Revan but cloned. However, I think it is a Sith because when Cal fights, the enemy is a one-arm fighter and the turrets are for training. Can you please shout out my brother Jack... What's up, Jack? Happy birthday. He's 27 today. 10th brother. Dude, after the watch party, went on binge watch and finish Stranger Things 4. Oh, yeah, right. I forgot. It's out. Insane season finale. Back to focusing on Kenobi. You finished the whole thing? Oh, my God. The guy in the tank is the guy with the red saber, both missing an arm. You guys think? At 46 seconds, the person looking at lightsaber doesn't look like Cal, in my opinion. It looks like Ray's outfit. Lol. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's see. When they won't follow. Why fight? What is your next move? Jet I don't know why you guys think he only has one arm. Just because he was fighting with one arm. I mean, Dooku fought with one arm. Vader fought with one arm a lot of the time. Die. It's very possible he has one arm, but... Yeah, maybe he's got one arm. He's got a standing like it. Uh, but... Mm, I still don't know, man. That's not really proof. Everyone's saying Reva. Oh my god, dude. No, you know who it is? It's the lady that Reva took the hand off of in the first episode. <laughs> it's totally a new dark character. It's clearly Reva. He's Sith, though. Maybe it's a Sith or Jedi Frozen in time from the comics. Reva is a joke. Do you think it could be a clone of himself? I mean, it's possible. But... Use 0.25 speed. Not Reva. Dude, just imagine there's like a whole arc for that lady. She gets so pissed. She's like, you have no right here. If you look at the clip, I think Cal might have a robotic hand. It's Terran Malikos. But there's no way it's Terran Malikos. The guy was insane to beat. What's the planet showing on the hologram showing on the Mantis in the beginning? Good question. Let's see. What was it? Maybe someone can decipher this.
bro, I, I, yeah, there's no way of telling really. Dantooine? No. Tell me, Cal Kestis. What? Okay, so obviously they crashed somewhere. I need when they won't. What the hell has giant footsteps like that? Unless those are regular human steps, but those look kind of large to me, don't you think? Especially considering we're kind of high up. Follow. This is Coruscant. Is that a pro droid? Why? Fight. Okay, so obviously the lights are turning on. Maybe someone, I guess, maybe Cal turned them on. Buddy defeats him with one arm. I mean, you can't win. What is your next move, Jedi? Looks pretty cool, I gotta say. Whatever it is. Whatever's going on there. Looks pretty neat. Why one arm though? Who knows? Darth Desolaus. Yeah. I don't know about that, man. Do you mean the politician? No, hell no. Hell no. Formidable war who, warrior who craved battle, Master studied Sith teachings and fell to the dark side of the Force, which led to his expulsion of the Jedi Order. Enraged, the individual became Sith Lord Darth Desilaus and vowed to have his revenge on the Jedi. Effectively, Desilaus became the Dark Lord of the Sith of that time period, Soon enough, Desilaus began training an army of Powans in his own style of martial arts, which combined Kartosis shields and melee weapons. Um, he eventually ra rallied his army in a series of <laughs> eventually railed his army <laughs> in a series of ambushes against Jedi Knights across the galaxy that led to the slaughter of nearly two thousand Jedi. With each victory, Desilaus grew more bold, but also more reckless and overconfident. Such carelessness ultimately led to this downfall when Desilaus and his army attacked a small force of Jedi on the planet Yaga Minor. This Jedi, however, was simply acting... No, I don't know. It's not him. Legacy. I am more powerful in death than I was in life, Darth Desilaus. The character of Darth Desilaus was first mentioned on Holocron Continuity Database Keeper Leland Chi's blog in 2006, where his name was said to be inspired by the word desolate. No further information was revealed about him in 2000, until 2008, which we saw the release of Force Unleashed video game Darth Desilaus appearing as a Jedi simulation, was featured in one of the Jedi Temple levels exclusive to the Chrome Studios developed PlayStation 2. Voiced by Christopher Tabori. In those versions of the Force Unleashed, entering Powan was a cheat code enables Darth Desilaus as a playable character skin. Oh, I never used that. What the hell? The exact nature of Desilaus' appearance in the Force Unleashed is rather ambiguous. However, the game databank entry for Jedi Trials implies that the simu simulacrum, simulacrum is projected with the Force. Stating that, some of the most common trials involve battle against fearsome force constructs lurking deep within the bowels of the Jedi Temple. I don't think so. I don't think it's him. Is that the Grand Inquisitor? If so, why are they depicting his race like the prequels instead of Obi-Wan? 
No, that's not the Grand Inquisitor. I just watched the old FO streams again while playing the game again simultaneously as you felt like I played the game with you, man. I love you, man. I love you too, Isaac. I'm glad you enjoyed, bro. Those were my favorite streams, dude. Crazy guess, Cinderella gonna back to... No, no way. An Imperial Senator makes a dangerous deal on Coruscant. The depiction of the Star Wars on the Star Wars site on a screen cap of the poem. I'm scared of Snoke Link. Well, you guys think that's a young Snoke? No. No way. Hold on, let me go to Star Wars actual official website. They not have anything up yet? What the hell? Jedi Fallen Order 2. Dude, how do they not have anything up on the actual Star Wars website? What? Hmm. Oh, wait, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, cool. Okay, nearly released November 2019, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order 2 clearly became the most critically acclaimed Star Wars game ever, delivering fans the Jedi experience they'd long dreamed of. Jedi Fallen Order followed Cal Kestis, a Padawan survivor of Order 66, and his loyal droid BD-1. Blah, blah, blah. Sequel was announced in January, and now we're getting our first glimpse of the game along with some new details. Lucasfilm Games, Electronic Arts, and Respawn Entertainment revealed a surprise teaser for the highly anticipated sequel, at Celebration Today, as well as its name, Star Wars Jedi Survivor. In advance of this drop, StarWars.com spoke with Respawn Stig Asmussen, director of both Jedi Fallen Order and Survivor, about the reception of the original game. Okay. To start, Fallen Order obviously went on to be a huge hit with fans. What I always find interesting is what when you work with something, you don't really know how it's going to be received. What were your feelings when Jedi Fallen Order was on the cusp of release? takes me back i was very anxious we had a lot of internal play test okay let me get to the game here a, bi a team's biggest learning curve was just learning star wars more than anything else everybody comes in they can be the biggest fan they think they understand star wars but if you're living and breathing it every day you won't understand that you haven't really scratched the surface yet I considered myself a member of the team as students of Star Wars. I know how to make a game. That's pretty impressive that he says this. You know, everybody comes in. They can be the biggest fan. They think they understand Star Wars. But until you're living and breathing every day, you won't understand that you haven't really scratched the surface yet. That's kind of cool that he's on the board with that. Um, I've definitely been a fan of Stig. He seems like a pretty cool guy. Is there a specific aspect to Jedi Fallen Order? Okay, no, stop talking about the old game, bro. How is the power of current... Okay, here, finally, like four pages later. Yeah, you nailed it right there. That's the purpose and tone of it. It's is to leave the player with a lot of questions, but they're very intrigued. The game is all about survival. That's why it's called Jedi Survivor. They are in dark times, and Cal and crew are doing whatever it takes to stay alive. That might mean that they are making connections with people that in other times might be considered unsavory. Some of that is portrayed in the trailer, and again, I don't want to give anything away, but there's definitely a sense of... I don't want to spoil anything, sorry. Sense of, what, fear? Is there anything you want to say to fans of Jedi Fallen Order who are excited to continue their journey with the sequel. Yeah, we're making the game for the fans. Every day we're putting our blood, sweat, and tears into it. There's nothing that's more important to us than getting the controller into the player's hand and having them have a Star Wars experience where they feel is worthy. We don't take this for granted. We really appreciate the fact that we get to build in this universe and contribute to it. The fans are right there with us. Huh. That's it? So really nothing.
Joris Sabayoth found it. Just me who felt the Grand Inquisitor costume was lacking. Yeah, me too. It looked a little bit too big on him. Yeah, like Fifth Brother's costume looked great. The the Grand Inquisitor looked a little too baggy. Sith dude is missing an arm. Could it be the same guy? Maybe it's a Revan but cloned. However, I think it's a Sith because when Cal fights the enemy, it's a one arm fighter and the turrets are for training. Guy in the tank is guy with the arm. 46 seconds, the person looking at the lightsaber doesn't look like Cal in my opinion. The dude in the tank's hand seems see-through. It looks like they're using AK-47s in Andor. Right? Isn't that weird? This looks amazing, but what's your feel on Reva? I feel like she complained and cried. Well, I gave you my points of view last night. I think she's annoying. It looks like they're using... The dude in the tank's hand is... Uh, the... Where are we? Where are we? the hell am I? Spoiler! It's Kyle Katarn. Barris off you with the red saber. Saber similar to hers? How would you react if they killed Obi-Wan at the end of the season and just ignore canon? Com well, that would not make sense. I think Cal finds him and pulls him out of the back to... And then... Then the Sith is helping train him when Cal gets bested, showing the skill level difference. Love the energy in the air right now, Star Wars hype. Will this be played in your head? Will this be played in your theater? I imagine it's the way to experience it. No, I'll play this here so I can stream with you guys. If you watch the live Star Wars celebration, Hayden, you and Tamora Morrison have a live panel. Much love from Sweden. By the way, love the community. Community loves you too, man. Thanks. Maybe we play as the new guy instead of Cal? No, I don't think so, because he just said, remember? That we have to play as Cal. And the crew. This, the canon Starkiller thing? No. One can only hope. Also, Grand Inquisitor clones, since you know, Kenobi Episode 2 and the one shown here. By the way, Kenobi Episode 2 ending was lit. Glad the watch parties are back. Me too, bro. What's up, Illyrio? Is that the Grand Inquisitor? No, so chat's saying it's, um, it's a senator. And it look it makes sense to be a senator too, because he's sitting in his like fancy office on Coruscant. So, I mean, I don't think it would be a Jedi or anything, or like a Sith. It makes much sense. The person in the tank is Broly. Yeah, that makes sense totally. So beyond please, grateful to have so much Star Wars stuff announced in the last few days. Also thoughts on Indiana Jones 5. What's up, darling? Why lead? D Darian, I just called you darling. But they won't follow. <laughs> Henceforth, you shall be known as Darling. Why fight? What is your next move, Jedi? So. It's very cool. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll find out soon, man. Uh, when is it January? How many months is that? Seven? Where are we at? June, July, August, September, October, November, January. F yeah, se seven. Yeah, it's actually seven. What's up, Theory? Still can't get over how hyped Kenobi was, and now we get a Jedi Fallen Order trailer. Do you think Cad will appear, Cal will appear in Kenobi, or vice versa? Lol. Love you. Love you too, man. Tholi. Uh, I don't think Cal's gonna appear in Kenobi. No. Because we have his story now. Here. So... I think they're going to keep that separate until his story is probably concluded into A New Hope. And then, um, yeah, and then we'll, we'll probably see him more in live action stuff, which would be cool. What happened to the double-bladed lightsaber? 
I, I guess he's over it. Fallen Order was missing choice for me. Would be cool to have a Sith mentor and have access to the dark side powers at whatever cost they come at. Hmm. How many years from Fallen Order? People are saying five years from Fallen Order, which would mean Kenobi time. So, I mean, they, they could, dude, he could show up in Kenobi and it still wouldn't mess up the game if it happens before the game. Jamie Lannister? What the hell? <laughs> the dust planet is Florum. What's up, Damasio? Thanks, man. Do you think Rex will be in Kenobi? I don't think so, no. I think I think Cody could. New Star Wars High Republic series announced. Hmm. Darth Darlin, much love theory. Your fave clone? Probably Rex. I mean, I liked Fives. He was like the only smart one. The person in the tank is... God. To me, the music sounds like Starkiller's theme, but with a re right, it does sound a little bit Starkiller esque. But I mean, also, you know, last night's Kenobi theme kind of sounded like Spider Man on PS4. So, I think they just take inspiration, or things just sound like things, especially if it's within Star Wars. They're running out of themes, man. They got to start combining stuff. It's not really meaning much, but I think Survivor is part of the title referring to the guy in the back to tank. Uh, yeah, but didn't Stig just say that it's referring to how they have to survive? Like Cal and everything? Maybe this guy's going to join their crew. Maybe we have to like go on a journey and find this dude because he's got some important information. And finally we find him near the end of the game. Or maybe beginning of the game. And then we go on like a whole... Um, journey with him or something like that. Imagine if Cody would have been clone veteran. Well, no, that was a 501st, right? That wasn't the 212th battalion. Guy in the tank is a Qui-Gon Jinn clone. We're going to buy one of your sabers. They're not out yet, but I'll let you know when they are. Soon, man. We're getting close. Getting closer and closer. Love the vids, dude. Thanks, Komen. The image on the Star Wars website says the Grand Inquisitor looking guy is an Imperial Senator. Okay, well, yeah, that makes sense then. Why is Calites ever single bladed, though? He got tired of it, I guess. Alright, well, that's cool. We get this trailer finally, and we get a bit of a date. Um, quarter one. Hope that they stick to it. it. Doesn't get delayed. I was hoping that it would come out maybe in the fall of this year, because you know we're not we get Andor and then we won't get anything until February, which would be Mando season three. So I guess we'll just do can fan fictions and comics until then. Maybe some animations and stuff. Um, working on an animation right now. Should be out for you guys in the summer, like a Vader episode two one. Guy in the tank is me. Can confirm I was there. <laughs> Thanks, Buffomit. What up, Wolf Moon? All right, chat. Thanks for tuning in. This is a fun little stream. Uh, I'll see you guys later tonight, probably, or tomorrow. We'll do some Revenge of the Sith gameplay. Later, everybody. Have a good day.